Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn what is DHCP Superscope. So by definition, Superscope allows DHCP server to provide leases from uh, more than one scope to, a, to clients on a single physical network. Scopes added to a Superscope are called member scopes. Now, in uh, for understanding, uh, so what is a Superscope? Superscope is, uh, we, we all know that for one network segment, one complete subnet is provided. So one subnet, so this is here in in this case this is subnet 1 uh, and this is subnet 2 subnet 1 is configured with the uh, scope uh, 192.168 1.15 actually the scope is 1.0 uh, and from that 1.0 subnet this computer got 15 IP address this computer the server got two IP address now uh, on this subnet we have 192.168 2.12 and uh, and also 3.12 now 3.12 is basically on this subnet there are two scopes configured uh, configured so one scope is 192.168 2.0 and the other scope is uh, 192.168 3.0 now what is the reason of uh, of uh, of super scope the reason of super scope is that sometimes one scope one subnet is not enough for this network so let's say in this uh, subnet B uh, there are 300 machines 300 computers that need IP addresses and one subnet can only provide uh, uh, only provide maximum of 254 IP addresses from which uh, almost 20 IP address or 25 IP addresses are reserved or excluded so which means almost 225 IP addresses so what about 75 other IP addresses in the same network in that case we will combine two scopes together so two scopes when you combine so this is one scope and uh, in super scope we can combine two scopes together in order to accommodate 300 computers on this network so when we combine two scopes together that is known as super scope now in our uh, network uh, so our current network is one scope we have one scope 192.168.10.0 uh, slash 24 so we what we are going to do we are going to add another scope within this uh, scope to extend this network and the new scope we are going to create is 192.168.1.0 and the reason for to add a super scope in our network is to extend the number of IP addresses in scope 1 uh, so let's uh, uh, let's do that now so I'm gonna go into the lab here and within the lab what we are going to do we are going to create a super scope so you need to log into DHCP server uh, DHCP needs to be installed you need to have at least uh, one scope or you can start fresh with a with a super scope in uh, in in my case what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go to new super scope and this super scope I'm gonna name this this is for our main office main office super scope so on our in our main office we have a requirement of 300 ip addresses uh, and one scope cannot suffice uh, can satisfy this requirement so i'm gonna go here and it's saying that you have this scope if i would have had multiple scopes here i can select any number of scopes for the super scope in uh, for in our case here i will use our existing scope so you must have a scope here uh, in order to create this scope you can watch the previous video uh, this is part 4 of DHCP configuration so once you do uh, super scope is created with one scope now this is only one scope and the reason we added a super scope is to have another subnet uh, another scope part of the same scope same uh, super scope uh, so what we are going to do I'm gonna create a new scope here so based on our configuration we are going to name this this is for uh, main office uh, scope 2 so main office so that the other one is scope 1 this is scope 2 and the IP addresses we are going to choose is 1 and this is uh, 254 the subnet mask remains the same and next here exclusions we don't have exclusions for this one and leads will we are going to leave the leads as same and 
go next dns will be the same and nothing in wins we are going to activate this uh, scope so once we activate the scope now we have two scopes as part of super scope so again super scope is used to extend the number of ip addresses on one network and this is what we did we created a super scope in order to test the scope uh, all you need to do is to go to client 2 and you you can release and renew the ip address then it will receive an ip address form from your uh, whatever uh, i mean from your super Super scope so in our case we have two uh, we have uh, we have two subnets configured with a super scope thank you for watching this video